Hello readers, it's Mrs. Saul. I'm here with a story for you today. So last week we talked a lot about making inferences. We learned about schema. We learned how we could use our schema and text evidence, clues in the book, to make inferences. And inferences we learned are when you are using what you know to take a guess about why a character is doing something or why they're feeling a certain way. So this week, we're gonna really focus on characters. Hopefully you just watched the video that talked about what a character is. So now that you know what a character is, we're gonna focus on what a main character is. So if you know a character is a person, an animal, or a creature in a story, usually one who's talking and has big involvement in the story, um, I think you'll be able to figure out what the main character is. So main characters are the ones that books are mostly about or stories are mostly about, okay? A book might have a lot of characters in it, but usually there's only a couple who you would consider the main character. Sometimes there's even only one. So the story we're going to read today is called Officer Buckle and Gloria. This is a very, very popular book. Um, it's been around a long time. Some of you may have heard it before. If you haven't, I can't wait for you to hear it today because it's a good one. So this story was written and illustrated by Peggy Rathman. She did both jobs for this book. And um, I want you to notice as I read, not only who the characters and main characters are, but I want you to notice how this is another example of a book that you really need to look at the pictures because the pictures tell us more than the words are telling us. So important readers when you're reading that you pay attention to what's happening in the pictures, not just the words, okay? Um, when you take a close look at the illustrations in a book, you might see something happening that the author didn't include in their words, okay? And that means the author wants you to kind of be telling part of the story as well. He or she is not doing all the telling on their own. They want you, the reader, to notice other things and tell more that's happening in the story. So let's pay attention to that. And we'll also, like I said, be fo focusing on characters and especially main characters. So here we go. Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Ooh, there's some stars inside of here. Take a look. Remember, sometimes these end pages can even give us little clues. They're little stars and they all have a picture of a dog on them. Hmm. I think that might be the dog I saw on the front. Did you notice there was a dog up here doing a flip way in the air? You know, Mrs. Saul really forgot to activate her schema. I should do that, right? Isn't that what readers do? Well, I'm gonna activate my schema and I'm also gonna think about what I'm seeing here on the cover. So Officer Buckle. And Gloria, well, I know an officer could be a police officer or um, a security officer. There's different kinds of officers. He looks like maybe he is a police officer. So I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna infer that he is Officer Buckle because that name is here. And Gloria, hmm. Well, Gloria might be this dog here. I'm not sure. And it looks like He's on a stage. Do you see how there's curtains and it looks like he's on a stage and there's an audience here, all these kids watching? It looks like maybe the officer and the dog are putting on a show. Yeah, look at the kids are, oh, their faces. Some of them look very excited. Huh. All right, I think my brain is ready to read now and maybe that would help me understand these stars, which I also see on the cover. So I see a dog and here on the stars, I'm gonna read you a few of them. One of them says, never accept rides from strangers. Oh, that's, that's a good advice. Never sit too close to the television. There's another one. 
Never put anything in your ear. Oh, that's a good idea too. Unless you're just cleaning it a little with a Q-tip, right? So those look like all safety advice, doesn't it? Things you shouldn't do. It sounds like things that would keep us safe. Hmm. Officer Buckle and Gloria. Well, here I see Officer Buckle sitting at a desk. He's writing something down on a paper at his desk. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Hmm. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. I'm looking at this picture here and I noticed that it looks like Officer Buckle was standing on a swivel chair and he fell off. Now friends, I think that's probably why he made that new safety tip. So it says every time he thinks of a new safety tip, he writes it down and hangs it on a board. I think he learned don't stand on a swivel chair because it's not safe. Swivel chairs have wheels and they roll and they move and they turn. So you could fall right off. Not a good idea. <laughs> and I think that this is what I was thinking about here, right? We noticed that these were safety tips. So I think this story is going to have something to do with that. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Oh my goodness. Poor Officer Buckle. So he goes to the school and he shares his safety tips. Friends, I'm not sure if you remember this, but sometimes we have a police officer that visits our school and tells us some safety tips as well. Um, I'm not sure if you got to see him in kindergarten since kindergarten got cut a little bit short, but you might have seen him in preschool where we have an officer come and he teaches us ways to be safe. So I'm having a little text to self connection because I have seen a safety officer come to our school and talk to the kids, but our kids don't fall asleep like this. Oh my goodness. That's not very nice. After his safety tips. It was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Oh, friends, uh, I had told you that pictures sometimes tell us more than the words in the text. I think this is a good example. So he just finished his safety talk with all the kids but I want you to look closely at this picture. Do you notice anything going on here that is not safe? Take a close look. Okay, so you might have noticed that this boy here is walking around with his shoes untied and now he has tripped on them. You might have also noticed, just the words did tell us this, Mrs. Topple, the principal was standing on a swivel chair and she's reaching to hang something. And that's a bad idea, bad idea. Um, you might've also noticed, oh my goodness, that there was a puddle of water under the water fountain. It looks like the water fountain has a leak and someone has slipped and fallen. Oh, and I also noticed that Mrs. Topple looks like, actually, I don't think she's hanging something up. I think she's taking something down and there's a tack on the floor. That's not safe. Someone could step on that. Oh no. And take a look over here. Did you see this? Look at this girl carrying books up the steps. Look how big that pile is. That's too many books to carry at one time. And now they're falling off and hitting the boy behind her. Ouch. Hmm. Maybe if the students at this school weren't sleeping during Miss Officer Buckle's safety talk, they would be a little safer at school, right? <laughs> then one day, Napville Police Department bought a police dog named Gloria. Friends, we were right. That's what we thought on the cover, that Gloria was probably the dog. 
When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Oh, so Gloria is coming to the school with him. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Oh, that's kind of nice. Hey, I'm wondering right now if I'm making a prediction here. I'm wondering if maybe the kids will pay more attention now that Gloria's in part of the safety tip show. Let's see. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Hmm. I think I need to look closely at this picture because it's just a safety tip about keeping your shoes tied, which nobody really listened to before. So what is the difference now? Why are the children sitting up and staring? Let me look here. Huh. Do you notice why now they're listening? Gloria. So Officer Buckle is saying safety tip number one and Gloria is right beside him with her finger up on her paw. You think a dog really could do that? I don't know. But if they did, I would definitely be paying attention. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Hmm. I don't know if Officer Buckle saw what Gloria did because when he turned to look at her, she was sitting. Interesting. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Now, here, if you look closely at this illustration, <laughs> Again, it's telling us way more than the words. Look at that. So Officer Buckle just gave a safety tip that said, make sure you wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. And look at the children. Nobody's sleeping. And it said their eyes are popping. That means they're going like this. <gasps> they're big. So they're surprised, right? We make eyes like that when we're <gasps> surprised by something. I think they're surprised at Gloria. She's standing on her head. Oh my goodness. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered just that morning. Friends, remember before I said I didn't know if Officer Buckle thought knew what Gloria was doing behind his back when he was giving safety tips? I think I might be right. Because again, when he looked at Gloria, she was just sitting. Hmm. And look at her smile. <laughs> Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Oh, that's an interesting word. It said the audience roared. Do you think they went like this? Grrr. No. The audience roared means that they all were yelling like, oh, so why are they yelling? The words don't tell me. Do the pictures? What do you see? I see Gloria pretending that she sat on a tack, just like he said. <gasps> Boys and girls, I think Gloria is acting out all of the safety tips that Officer Buckle is sharing with the students and no wonder they're paying attention. How funny would it be to see a dog doing all these things? Oh my goodness. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. So I'm going to pause here for a minute, friends, because, well, first I want you to look at these pictures. So here is what's happening as Officer Buckle is giving more safety tips. So we can probably figure out some of the things he's talking about here. Maybe this is standing on a swivel chair. Uh, I don't know what's happening here, but it looks like someone, he's faking getting hurt. This looks like he fell again. 
Now, I want to stop here because I want to figure out, the words told me that Officer Buckle um, was surprised, okay? He's surprised by how the kids are reacting. So I wanna figure out why that is. So I'm gonna use my schema, what I know in this story so far, and I know that when Officer Buckle used to come to the schools, the kids would fall asleep when they listened to him. And now he came with Gloria to give his safety speech, and they're sitting up and staring and their eyes are popping and they're roaring with excitement and laughter and wows, okay? They're responding and making sounds because they can't believe what they're seeing. And now Officer Buckle is grinning, okay? That means he's happy, he's surprised, he's grinning, okay? Grinning is a smiling, another word for smiling. So why is this happening? Well using all the schema about what's happened and what I know about um, Gloria joining his show is that I think the kids are really excited now and their eyes are popping and they're staring because Gloria is entertaining them. Mr. Buckle or Officer Buckle just used to read his safety tips, but it wasn't that interesting. So now that Gloria is acting them out, I think they're super interested. They're so excited and it's making Officer Buckle very happy. Although I don't know if he knows what she's doing. He's happy. I think he thinks they're really enjoying his safety tips. The next day, an enormous envelope arrives at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Knapville School. Oh my goodness, look at this. He's pouring the letters out of the envelope. Look how many. Wow. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawings showed a lot of imagination. So let's look closely at these drawings of Gloria. Oh, this looks like where she's pretending to be electrocuted. Here is where she's saying safety tip number one. Here, it looks like she fell here too. Hmm. And it's the word said that Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. Friends, that tells me that Officer Buckle had no idea what Gloria was doing. He thinks the kids were imagining all of this. They were using their imaginations to draw these pictures of Gloria. But were they imagining it or was it really happening? It was really happening, right? I'm going to read you one of the letters. It says, Dear Gloria and Officer Buckle, Thanks for coming to our school. You are nice. Your friend, George. That's a nice letter. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. So this is his favorite letter, shaped like a star, right? And it also has a picture of him and Gloria, and it said they make a good team. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phones started ringing. Hmm. Why do you think the phones might be ringing right now? Let's see if we can infer. So the kids wrote all those letters Officer Buckle did that show where Gloria was performing and, and acting out all the safety tips. Hmm, I wonder if parents are calling to ask about what happened or maybe someone's curious. Maybe it's the news. Maybe they wanna hear about what happened. Let's find out. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring along that police dog. <gasps> it sounds like, friends, that all these other schools, principals and um, daycare teachers were found out about the amazing performance from o Officer Buckle and Gloria and now they want him and Gloria to come to their schools. Wow. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 300 
13 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. Oh my goodness. Friends, people loved Officer Buckle's show, his performance and their safety tips so much that he went and visited 313 different schools. Wow, that's a lot of schools, right? So, oh, and let's look closely at the picture. So here's one school he's at. Is Gloria up to her tricks? It looks like it. She's doing a flip in the background. That's kind of like what we saw on the front cover. And over here, He's on a stage again, Gloria's performing, and the, the whole crowd is cheering and cheering. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Oh, that's nice. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Oh my goodness, guys, we gotta look closely again here. Look at this picture. So Officer Buckle is buying ice cream, and look at Gloria, look closely. Friends, she's signing autographs like she's a famous movie star. <laughs> I love how the author made Gloria kind of act like a person, right? Like she's standing up on two legs. She's holding a pen. Dogs can't really do that. That's why it's so great to have it in a book because things can happen that can't happen in real life. And look, he's so happy to have a buddy. They're eating ice cream on the bench. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle at the State College Auditorium. So look at how big his crowd is now. He used to just be at schools and there was just some kids at the school, but look at this, he's in a college auditorium. An auditorium is like a theater. So he is in this theater, in this auditorium, and it has a lot of seats, especially at a college or a university. They have a lot of seats because there's a lot of people. Look how many people are there. And now it says a video team, a news team. So I can see some cameras down here. See those? You can see like there's people filming with those big video cameras. So this video team is videotaping his performance. Hmm. He must have felt really special. I think I would. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms. <laughs> it looks like he got zapped by lightning. The students jumped to their feet and applauded. Oh, look how excited and happy everybody is. Oh, there's the TV crew filming. Everyone's cheering and clapping. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. So he's taking a bow. He's so happy that they're so excited to listen to all his safety tips. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. Oh, I think I need to look closely here, boys and girls, take a look. All it told me on this page was that he watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. If I don't look at this picture, I wouldn't, I would miss a lot of information. So I need to look, take a look. Do you notice how he's eating some popcorn and it looks like he's <gasps> jumped up because he spilled some popcorn, his feet are up in the air. Why do you think, what has surprised him? Let's see if we can infer. What has surprised Officer Buckle in this, on the news when he's watching his performance? What do you think surprised him? Well, think about everything you know that's happened in the story so far, okay? We know that Officer Buckle used to give speeches and kids fell asleep. Then Gloria joined him and she started doing tricks while he was giving the safety tips. And we thought that maybe he didn't know she was doing that because Every time he would look at her, she would sit. She would just be sitting there. We also saw that she was doing all sorts of things, tricks and falling down and pretending to be electrocuted and uh, falling off a chair. So she was doing all of these things without him knowing. So if I think about all of that, I can probably infer that what he's surprised about here is that he just saw, oops, and look, I can even see it in the, the reflection, the TV's here, but he has a mirror behind his couch. 
so you can see what he's watching on TV right now. Do you see how Gloria looks like she's being electrocuted? Oh, friends, and look at Gloria's face. Uh-oh. Gloria looks a little worried. Her face looks like this. And she's kind of giving a look at Officer Buckle with a worried face. Why would she be worrying right now? Turn and tell someone next to you. What do you think Gloria, the dog, is worried about right now? Use everything you know from the story and make an inference. What do you think is wrong? Hmm. Okay. Well, I hope you shared with somebody. I think she's worried because she realized that Officer Buckle just now saw what she has been doing behind his back the whole time. I think she's worried he might be upset with her. Let's find out. The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she still come? Uh-oh. I think, oh, friends, look, I just noticed something because I looked really close at this picture and guess what? I have to be honest with you right now. Mrs. Saul has read this book before and you know what? I never looked closely at this part. I just learned something new. I just noticed on this paper where he's frowning and talking to the principal, he's writing a safety tip. It says number one, I have to turn the book like this to read it. Number, safety tip number 100. Never turn your back on a strange dog. Uh-oh. Friends, this is a clue that Officer Buckle's feelings are hurt. He is upset with Gloria. He's actually making it a safety tip that you should never turn your back on a, stray do on a strange dog because you don't know what they're doing behind your back. So I think we were right. If you were thinking that's why Gloria was worried that he was gonna be mad at her, I think he is mad at her. I think he's upset. Look, he's all grouchy. Urgh, grouchy face. Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Knapville School had its biggest accident ever. So now remember, the principal, when Officer Buckle said, I'm not doing speeches anymore, she said, well, could Gloria come? So somebody else drove Gloria to the school, and she got on the stage, but she didn't do anything. She just sat there, and the kids fell asleep. Someone dropped their yogurt. Uh-oh. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Oh, look, I don't think that was yogurt. Mrs. Saul thought that was yogurt. I think it's banana pudding. Uh-oh. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. I'm going to hold this up close so you can get a good look at this chaos right here. Oh, my goodness, wait. There you go. Look at what's happening. So somebody slipped and bumped into Mrs. Topple, who's standing on a swivel chair again with her hammer, and now her hammer has gone flying. Oh, that is not safe. Look at all the kids who have fallen, too, in the banana pudding. Oh, my goodness. I'm a little worried about that hammer. They said this was the biggest accident ever. Do you think someone got hurt with that hammer? Oh no, let's see, I'm a little worried. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. So remember last time, all the letters had drawings of Gloria. These all have drawings of the accident. You could see a lot of yellow. That's all that banana pudding, right? Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Oh, we've seen one of those before. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. 
your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. <gasps> Look where Mrs. Topple's hammer went. When she threw it through the air, it fell on Claire, but she had on her helmet, thank goodness. <laughs> I think that this note, friends, um, is going to make a difference. Let's keep reading. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Look, and now they're smiling. Hmm. Friends, I think that Claire's note made Officer Buckle smile because she said, Gloria missed you yesterday. I think I can infer from everything I've read, I think that Officer Buckle felt like everybody just liked the show because of Gloria. And I think Claire helped him realize that they like the show because both of them are in the show. And that Gloria isn't trying to steal the spotlight from him. She's not trying to be the star of the show. She's trying to help him with his show. So he's smiling now. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. That is a good safety tip. Okay, friends. So um, I want to talk about how the pictures in the book again. But before I do, I wanted to talk to you about who the char main characters were. So we know there was a lot of characters in this book. We had Officer Buckle and Gloria and Mrs. Topple and kind of Claire, even though we never really met her. We just, she just wrote the letters. So we had three or four characters who we knew their names, right? And who were talking and had a part in the story. But if, if you had to think about it, who is this story mostly about? That's how you figure out the main characters. Who is it mostly about? Who was pretty much spoken about or had a part on every single page of the story? If you think about that, you'd probably realize that Officer Buckle and Gloria are the main characters in the story. Mrs. Topple was in it, but it wasn't really all about Mrs. Topple. This book was all about Officer Buckle and Gloria. Um, now I wanted to talk to you about a few of the pages where we needed to really look at the illustrations. So I'm going to read the, a few pages to you um, without showing you the illustrations. Tell me if you would have known what was happening here. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. Would you know what was happening on that page if you didn't see the picture? I don't think so, right? You wouldn't have known Gloria was standing on her head. How about this page? Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Would you know what was happening there? Not if you didn't see the picture or if you didn't know what kind of dog Gloria was and that she was doing tricks, right? So friends, I hope this showed you how important it is to look at pictures when you're reading a picture book. They're there for a reason. They're there to help you, the reader, better understand the story. So I hope you enjoyed our book today and I wanna give a shout out to Sophia. Hi, Sophia. I hope you liked our story and I can't wait to see you soon. Hopefully our Chromebooks will be in and I can actually see you guys. Um, and until next time, enjoy reading. Don't forget to look at those pictures. Think about your characters and use everything you learn in the book to decide why characters are doing certain things and why they're feeling a certain way. Until next time, bye.